landed on the hill of Mount Judy. The problem is, is what, what, which Mount Judy? There's more than one Mount Judy. Also, when you translate Mount Judy, I've been reliably told that Mount Judy can mean highest of mountains. It doesn't necessarily mean one mountain place, but it can mean uh, a range of mountains or, or, or a range of places. Here we see a summary, I know you can't see it, but here we see a summary of eyewitness testimony lists okay, that people have claimed to have seen Noah's Ark. Ancient historians recorded location sightings, Barosis, um, Hynemius, Nicholas of Damascus, Josephus, and the recent sightings since 1856. Dozens of alleged eyewitnesses and they claim there were many more with them and documented in a book called Explorers of Ararat. Eyewitnesses did not know each other. Most all white eyewitnesses are now dead. Some eyewitnesses claim to have touched and walked on Noah's Ark. Many eyewitnesses are World War II and military veterans. And researchers have spoken with two, 25 to 50 alleged eyewitnesses. There were drawings, paintings and testimonies, but no photos. And why did the 90% of alleged eyewitnesses see a boat connected with the ice when the explorers over the last 50 years did not? So all these eyewitnesses are saying they see a boat with ice connected to it. Noah's Ark wood. This, this um, gentleman here claims he's got a piece of Noah's Ark wood. It's petrified wood. Um, it's been dated, it said they found it in 318 AD. And, um, and it's a place called Ex Mizidin. The Archbishop Mesrop photo um, says he's got it. And this supposedly is supposed to be uh, a piece of wood from Noah's Ark. But can it be proved? No. And most people think it's here. Most of the descriptions they believe is in a place called Ahura Gorge where the mountain blew out from the volcano. This man here is called George Hagobian uh, and he claims he saw the ark. And this is what he said he saw. Very, very similar to what the Russians claimed they saw. <coughs> so what does he have to say? He was interviewed on tape. Um, they even did a lie detector test on him and he passed the lie detector test. So a number of people um, interviewed this man and they were pretty much convinced. Um, this gentleman here, I know him personally, Larry Cruz, and he interviewed him. There's another chap, Arthur uh, Chuchin. He claims he saw the ark as well. And this is his drawing. But again, cannot be proved. There was another man in 1943 called Ed Davis. He claims he saw Noah's Ark. And he claims he saw this. He saw that Noah's Ark was broken in two. So there's one part here and there's one part here. And some of it fell down here. That's how we describe Noah's Ark. But what proof do we have? None. There's another guy called Gerald Isaacs. He claimed he saw it while he was on his plane. Here's a painting of it. Yeah, you can come in. Uh, another guy called Kevin Hurley. Uh, he claims he's seen the ark, and this is what he claims he saw. Al Chapel, he claims he saw this. He sees it on a, on a ledge. Now, recently, in 1973, they found this on part of the glacier. They found this shape here and they think that was Noah's Ark. They did pictures and they found this shape here. An anomaly, they think that was Noah's Ark. And this guy, George Stevens, he's convinced that that place is Noah's Ark. But have they seen it? Have they touched it? Can they prove it? No. This guy claims that this is Noah's Ark here. Again, there's no proof. Then they started taking some, some satellite pictures to see, well, maybe we can find Noah's Ark using satellite pictures. And they found something here. They, the story goes like this. The, the American Air Force were taking pictures 
and they discovered an anomaly. And that's not very clear, but they discovered an anomaly. And then the CIA, they hid the pictures. Then when the um, Freedom of Information Act came out, uh, a number of people heard the story about they got these secret pictures. So they were forced to release these pictures. And they call it the Ara Anomaly. And it's here. And so some believe that that is Noah's Ark. And so they're convinced that somehow it started here and it slipped into this region here. But have they been there? No. Can they prove it? No. They've taken satellite pictures and they're convinced that, that is Noah's Ark. But cannot be proved. Looks like a boat, doesn't it? <coughs> and so they take us some more pictures. This is um, done by the US Air Force, um, which got them to this to this uh, anomaly. And here he thinks they've got three prongs here and prongs here, and they think this is Noah's Ark. This is another picture. But none of it can be proven. Another man here, Fernando Navarro, he claims he found Noah's Ark and brought down some wood. And he said, this is wood from Noah's Ark. However, he had a guide with him. And uh, before he found this wood, he went up a number of times before he found this wood. And the guide told the Turkish government that he planted the wood. <laughs> so he got, he got caught. And the story goes that he bought this wood from a, an ancient monastery, so it was very old wood. And he claimed that that, that was, um, and he even did this elaborate drawing of what Noah's Ark looked like. And this is uh, the supposed part of the wood that's supposed to be from Noah's Ark. Now this man, Angelo Pelago, he claims it's the same site, he's following from Navarro. And uh, he claims that that is Noah's Ark. And he also claims that he's seen it and taken video footage of it. And he believes that that's part of Noah's Ark and it's broken and the rest of it is there. And you can actually find video footage of it on YouTube. I didn't bother um, getting it for you, but there's video footage on YouTube and he takes a video uh, of it claiming this is Noah's Ark or beam of Noah's Ark. But again, it could be a beam of anything. And this is actually a still picture from the video. And he believes it's here. And this is Angela Play, this is what it looks like. Now the carbon dated, right, some of this supposedly knows that word, okay, and it's only 1700 years old. But according to the Bible, if it's going to be a uh, word from Noah's Ark, you're looking like 4,000, over 4,000 years old. So it cannot be this wood. So Fernand Navarre wood, uh, species of oak, carbon dated it to 1,300, 1,700 years old, not even close to Noah's flood. Um, sincere but was all over the mountain three years before, he, you know, he discovered the wood. He was accused of planting the wood and accused of purchasing wood from an ancient Spanish monastery or railroad ties. And again, wood proves nothing. What doesn't prove that it is from the boat? <coughs> so direct observation has failed. So what some are suggesting, some of, the, some of the more recent researchers are saying that we need to go in the mountain and take subsurface radar. That's the only way we're going to find um, Noah's Ark. And they're so convinced, they're still convinced it is on Mount Ararat. So question then, is Noah's Ark in Turkey? for starters. Now Nicholas of Damascus, the biographer of Herod the Great, about 30 BC, ref 